Whenever you're ready. The Kirkhorn Music Program has been in place since 2017, and it started because of a dream that Kirk had of providing music lessons to underprivileged kids. And uh, prior to his uh, death in July of 2016, uh, he and his wife and Jenny and I met with the Columbus Foundation and started a fund. And then uh, he passed away in July of 16, and so 2017, we were able to start this program. And uh, we have uh, music camp each summer and uh, lessons throughout the year. And we have uh, a couple dozen kids that are involved in music. One, two, ready, go. It's important to see things that Kirk pursued in his life, connecting people, love of music, and seeing that in the kids where they're connecting, they're making music, and the relationship building that's happening. That just is so gratifying to me, Kirk's mom, to see those kinds of qualities that he had, seeing that transferred and enjoyed through this music program. Once a week, we do small groups with um, a couple guitar players or maybe a bass player or two vocalists all getting together in the same room and working on the same techniques and just ways to get better at music. For me, this program has been a learning experience, not just like in guitar, but also in life too, because it has helped me overall, like with my skills in guitar, but then also I've made friends, valuable friends too, and met people that I don't know if I would have met without this program, so I feel like it really did help me reach out to people. Not only that, but it helped me with my skills, social skills, being able to talk to people, because I know sometimes I'm not the best at talking to people, but when it came to this program, it got me to be more outwards and I can talk to more people and overall just, you know, be able to interact with my surroundings. The Kirkhorn Music Program means a lot to me. We kind of just have fun, talk about songs we like or new stuff we've seen or heard. So it's kind of like a wind down time. It's really fun. And I can hang out in a safe space. It's just amazing how these youngsters can get in there and play this fabulous music pretty quickly, and how the camaraderie that they have. I mean, they're rock stars together. Um, and that just, it's just so fun to be around them. And, and also to hear from the parents about changes uh, in their schools. You know, this confidence now that they have um, is carrying over in other areas where they may have struggled a bit. The program, for my oldest, I will start with her. She, um, a little shy um, around new people. For Savannah, um, she's built up her confidence a lot uh, being in this program. Again, she doesn't like, you know, a lot of attention on her, but in this program, She's gained friends. Kaden is my social butterfly. She loves everything and everybody and wants, she would be in front of this camera right now if she could be. And um, she just happened to join because her sister was in it and she said, why not? But she is a music buff. For me, I think the biggest thing has been seeing them come out of their shells, as well as the exposure that they've had, uh, the enjoyment in them, seeing them play. And I've just been amazed from the beginning to see where she started to where she is now. Savannah, definitely, with um, her playing and Caden, stage fright. Seeing her overcome stage fright now, she will sing all day long, but when you put her in front of the mic, it takes a second, but then to see her light up when the crowd 
is enjoying them and then they just turn into different kids. Mr. Jesse was the first person that came to me and my brother about guitar even before we had came across Lyndon. So being with him all this year has means a lot and seeing how we progress and seeing kind of our environment change around but still seeing those same people is always nice. I don't necessarily know if it's easy or hard, but I just really enjoy doing it. And um, what keeps me coming back is knowing that, you know, I remember each student and rate right when they got their first guitar lesson, let's say, and then, you know, a year or two or five or six later, how much they've developed as a musician and that they've really shown a lot of interest and dedication to music. Um, so having that, you know, that's how I've always been, like spending a lot of time on my instrument, um, being a teacher and a mentor to some of my kids is sort of like, it's a no brainer. I just like doing it because then it improves everybody's life and the whole creative community in central Ohio. Probably the best story that we have is, um, during one of the summer music camps, we had the kids sit in U-shape and we had them introduce themselves. And as we went around the room, one of the girls that was there was so shy, she literally put her head on the table and started crying. And uh, I get <laughs> choked up telling this story. She's now the lead singer. And a mean guitarist. Yeah, and plays the guitar and she's just totally had this major change. Now, not that every kid has that experience, but uh, that's what we do. We can help kids gain the confidence and the self-esteem that they need to uh, accomplish good things. Both of my kids are very artsy. They love to draw, they love to paint. Savannah draws calligraphy. She plays, she can write music. You know, she's very, artistic, um, but for her, music is her way of expressing how she's feeling at that moment. Like I, um, sometimes she, if she had a bad day at school and she's just sitting in the corner and she's playing, you know, you can tell by her demeanor, you know, that, you know, she's just playing because right now she doesn't want to talk. But then there's other times she'll just sit and play and play and play just because she feels like there's a song that she heard that she wants to learn how to play or, or something of that nature. And for her to be a young teenage black girl with all the things that are going on in this world, for music to be her outlet, I can say as a mom, I'm glad that she chose music over the things, the influences, the everything that could go on in her life right now. Not really every day that you're performing in front of a whole bunch of people and like seeing a whole bunch of people clap for you, cheer for you, or go into the Lincoln Theater and stuff like that. It's the time after the performances where you're really like taking it all in. You're like, oh yeah, I just did that and you're able to celebrate it with your other bandmates who also just did that. Music brings an availability to express yourself, you know, and use your creativity, which is not found necessarily in a classroom or on a sports team or even hanging out with your friends. When you get together with other musicians and other creative types, that really allows you to dive into that creative process where you feel like, ah, there's other people out there who understand this facet of my personality and really allow something that I never, that has never been invented before to come to life. The way he lived his life, relationships, he and Jesse Henry, the musician and wonderful director we have, is because of that friendship, that relationship. And um, yeah, 
I just, uh, it's wonderful to see those kinds of things that have just happened because of Kirk.